pretty self-evident. When you have people that pull their phone out, look at you, look at their phone, push something, and then put it away. Something is not right there. Something is amiss. It's happened in Walmart and three other stores. The bus, the light rail, and then there's this little do 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 or some kind of freaking noise that I hear. Now I wonder if it's that fake bolo that I got the PDF for. <laughs> but there sure as hell shouldn't be no way that I woke up half an hour late, phone off, headache, Fall back the hell out, wake up, heartache, and another bad headache. And still here in the pop, 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 pop. My, I, I honestly think that's grounds for assault with <laughs> probably a deadly weapon. I mean, it's ridiculous. I almost missed taking her to school. No alarm went off if I wouldn't have got up at 8 o'clock. I wouldn't have got her to school on time. Now, I don't know whose bright idea it was to try to fuck my life up as hard as you did. But God's going to pay you tenfold. Just know that up front. And if you don't believe me, read the Bible. How is a book that was written thousands of years ago predicting... The future today. Well, you know, predicting what's going on today. How is that possible? It's not possible if it wasn't real. It's not possible if, you know, they found Dead Sea Scrolls and everything else written in Aramaic and uh, emerald tablets and God, I swear. It's like dealing with monkeys or something like that. Didn't didn't evolve, but take human form. So either there are attachments, paid well, wicked as hell, or all of the above. I mean, I kind of noticed when neighbors started moving out, and then either military or government started moving in.
judge would not see it the same way as, oh, well, why does this one with three kids and live in a cave and these that actually have room? Walls. Well, let's, so let's go with walls because that's a better thing in a door. It really does get old. I keep saying, I don't want no one to get in trouble. I'm just trying to be. But no one's trying to let me be. So let's see how much damage we can inflict. How much harm we can inflict. That's where either the greed, the wickedness, or the attachment comes in. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> I never signed any medical paperwork stating anyone can connect to me. Not one. In that big bubble when I went to the hospital for a heart attack and it bubbled up the size of a bouncy ball on my arm. If they actually injected me with something, I didn't agree to that either. Because knowing my hearing as well, I heard, since I had a female doctor, I heard two males say... Where's Mr. Robinson? And she said, I think he's asleep. Because for some reason, they turned the light off. Didn't understand that. They kept the light off 90% of the time I was there. Didn't understand that. Almost as if they knew... Almost as if they knew I needed sleep. But how would they know that? I cannot keep putting up with the fuckery. It's fucking with my life. My personal life. Like, I don't fuck with anybody else's personal life. I'm not in anybody else's business. And I said months and months and months and months and months ago, I don't care what anybody else does as long as it doesn't affect me. But yet, somehow, you know, uh, I sleep in a tent for a summer and read my Bible and use my tablet. And I'm able to stay up till 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Go to sleep, wake up, take my medicine, fall back asleep for 2 or 3 hours, and get up for the day. Here... I'm knocked the hell out. Don't wake up through any of my alarms or 
My alarm button's turned all the way down so I can't hear it. Or like today, it was just completely turned off. And sitting closest to the door on the next step down. Almost like somebody opened it up. Was trying to fuck with it. And then set it on the step. You know, like a month. Just one month. is 30 days that this goes on. And it's 30 days worth of felonies. Well. Let's see. I came back to the house at the end of the summer when school started in September. So September, October, November, December, January. And we're in February. So the beginning of March will be a full six months worth of 30 to 31 days of felonies repeatedly. If it's not invasion of privacy, it's humiliation, it's audio and video, it's... radiating it's it's whatever now why would somebody want to keep doing that over and over and over and over again. Why? Can anybody just, you know, is there an answer why somebody would want to endure that repeatedly? I mean, after the letters that I wrote and told doctors and stuff like that about how my wife died five months after I had a stroke and seizure and all that, and I don't have new heart problems, you know, if my heart stopped, you don't think that somebody would think that that was a little suspicious? Or the fact that I showed my doctor the EMF readings that said high radiation and I constantly get headaches? I even showed her how the sound graph worked. Worked great in her office. It worked fine like it's supposed to. I mean, I still think it's a little odd that a dude that looked like he was either ex-military or governmental and his wife his wife looked like somebody from around the neighborhood 50s year old white woman husband clean shaven short hair like shaved and looked like he was in the service or something and then the contractor that comes in to do work at the office just happened to know him but didn't say anything to him the first 20 times he walked in and out the door but you know on like that last one or three times he came in he decided to say hi to him like nobody was paying attention to that <laughs> 